Aye, so today I'm going to very quickly explain how relative majors and relative minors work and how they're connected together. So for example, if we're in the key of C, the notes in this C major scale would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So all the white keys on the piano. Now, to figure out what the relative minor is, now the relative minor is the key that has the exact same notes as the major scale. So we're looking for a, a, a scale which has all the white keys, but is a minor. And how you figure that out, this is the important thing, you move three semitones down. So from C to B is one semitone, B to B flat is two semitones, and from B flat to A is three semitones. And if I play those exact same notes again, all the white keys, I have the relative minor. So it's all the same notes, but just with a different starting point, and that gives us a relative minor. So the relative minor of C is A. So C major and A minor are connected. And just to give you another example of that, let's say for example, the key of F. So F major has one black key in it, which is B flat. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Now if I want to figure out what the relative minor of F major is, I move down three semitones. So F to E is one, E to E flat is two, and from E flat to D is three. And if I play those same notes again, so remember it had a B flat in it. So that's D to D with a B flat rather than a B. That gives us D minor. So the relative minor of F major is D minor. And last but not least, I'll give you one more. Let's say for example, let's pick one D. So D major, D major has two sharps in it, F sharp and C sharp. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And if I want to know the relative minor of D major, which I just played, remember, F sharp and C sharp in it, I move down three semitones. So D down to C sharp is one, C sharp down to C is two, C down to B is three. So I want to play those same notes again, starting at B. Remember, we have two black keys, um, C sharp and F sharp. And that gives us our B minor scale, which is the relative minor of D major. So this video was just quickly talking about the relationship between major and minor, and for every major scale that exists, there is a minor scale with the exact same notes. If you have any questions, please pop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, give the video a like. I appreciate uh, all the help. Thank you so much. And I'll try and make more of these videos just quickly explaining things on the piano.